X and O it for me. Uh, I, I, I know that there's so many different ways to go because of the number of playmakers that are at the disposal of these two great quarterbacks and defenses that have playmakers of their own right, the Buccaneers linebackers versus Kelsey, for instance, or the, the Chiefs, the way that they have been able to uh, put the bang thing on with people with Tyron Matthew uh, st- ready to snipe somebody. So how do you have this all worked out for Super Bowl 55? Best you can lay it out in a couple minutes. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, there, there yeah. are so many great storylines that I, that I could break down, Rich, as you know. But um, the way, you know, just big picture-wise, I think the Chiefs are the better team. Uh, I think they are the better team across the board. I think they have more ways to beat you. I think they're more explosive offensively. And I think they win this football game. Um, that does not mean that the Bucks don't have the pieces or aren't good enough to win this game. There are multiple ways that they can win this game, and it starts with the pass rush against those two backup tackles. Can they force Patrick Mahomes to be someone different than he usually is? But I just believe that the Chiefs are the better team, have been more consistent, are good in these big moments, um, and they find a way to, to win this game. And I also believe that this game has a tendency in my mind to not even be that close, that, um, that the Chiefs could win this game by, by double digits based on you know just the way that, I see it play out in my mind outside of some of those, those strange things that could surely happen in this big game. And then the strange thing potentially, well, it's not strange. I mean, it's weather. But if it rains, uh, we were talking about this yesterday. What, 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 what if there's a, a wet football? Does it, I said it because I listen to you when you talk, Kurt, uh, that the wet football is one, it's one thing, but it's the wind that really is something that, that would affect anything. But what if it's a wet day, uh, a rainy well, day in this game? Yeah, I will say depending on – the rain and how hard it rains, because that's one thing that you cannot control. Right. That if a ball is wet and it slips out of your hand, it slips out of your hand. And sometimes that can be the nature, too, of Super Bowls, because, as you know, they they try to bring in new footballs in the Super Bowl like every play in the first half. (sighs) So they can give them away or do whatever they do. And so oftentimes the balls aren't broken in really, really well all the way through uh, until they get whatever that cycle is of balls in. So a wet ball, a slick ball, uh, could that have a hand in a game without question? And, you know, you have to think if that were the case, it would probably lean in the direction of the Bucks. you know, putting into the Bucks' favor because they, they run the football normally better. Uh, Tom Brady has, has dealt with a lot of weather and, and kind of the nature of how they play as opposed to throwing the ball down the field. But, gosh, you know, this is why I want all playoff games inside. I do not want to see Mahomes against Brady – in the rain, not being able to play their best. So I really, really hope that, uh, that it's a beautiful night and, and we get a chance to see our biggest stars play their best football on the biggest stage. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.